Riverside has powerful tools for live streaming, and now we have a new live stream layout feature. While you're streaming to multiple platforms, you can choose to focus on the active speaker full screen, and all your viewers will see just that person. Or focus on the active speaker and put your other guests in small picture-in-picture -picture windows. Plus, you can adjust the layouts when you're screen sharing, using video from the media board, and more. Let me show you how to use our new live stream layout feature. Here I am in one of my Riverside studios, and I can choose to jump into record, but we also have our new projects layout, and I'm actually gonna add a recording to one of my projects. Now that I'm here, I'll click record, choose my mic, camera, and speaker output, and then let's jump into the studio. Now that we're in the studio, both me and my remote guest, I'm gonna set up a couple live streaming destinations and then hit go live. If I go up here to the live streaming tools, I can use Riverside audience mode to live stream directly on the platform and then access things like audience live call-ins, and I can add multiple social destinations just by logging into my LinkedIn, YouTube, or Twitch account, and then I can multi-stream to all of those places at the same time. You see, I've added my Twitch account here, and even after you've added them, you can disable or enable destinations however you'd like. And if you're on our standard or pro plans, you can upgrade to the Live Studio add-on, and then you can live stream in up to 1080p high definition quality and remove the Riverside watermark. Now that we've set up our destinations, let's go live and we can adjust our layouts. I'll click go live, and now we're recording and live streaming in high quality. Now, if I look over to the right-hand side, you'll see our new layouts tool. When I click that, I can choose to either use the grid view, which is the standard view you have in Riverside. I can choose to focus on the active speaker full screen and only that person speaking, or we can do speaker split screen, which will put the other participants in smaller picture-in-picture -picture windows. You can also choose to fill the frame or fit it however you'd like. So I just chose active speaker, and I was gonna focus only on me because I'm the one talking. Now, if I ask a question and maybe my interview guest starts talking, then we'll automatically be switched to that person who's speaking, and this is actually gonna be seen by everyone watching live. Now, instead of full screen, if I wanted to have the active speaker large, but everyone else smaller picture in picture, you can do that too. Now you see I'm kind of lower down there, guest speaker's up there. And if I were to start speaking instead of my guest, now I will automatically be moved to the larger position. Now under that layouts tool, you can also choose to fit. Fit will keep the full 16 by nine video aspect ratio no matter what layout you choose, whereas fill will choose to fill the frame. For instance, if I'm in the grid view, this is filling the frame, or I can go over to fit, and now you'll see the full 16 by nine video. You can also switch between layouts using keyboard shortcuts. Open the layout panel on the right, and you'll see those shortcuts listed next to each view. This is the option key on Mac keyboards or Alt on Windows. Using those keyboard shortcuts, I can go between grid view and then focusing on the active speaker and also doing picture in picture all back and forth quickly just using those keyboard shortcuts. We've also added the ability to reorder the participants and pin someone as live even when other people are talking. If you'd like to reorder, just roll your mouse over someone's video and you'll see these dots at the top where you can click and drag either left or right and you'll reorder those on screen. You can also roll over your mouse and select the pin option, and that person will be pinned large and focused on the entire time, no matter who's speaking. If you'd like to unpin that person, just roll over their video and choose unpin. And remember, if you have some branding you'd like to show while you're live streaming, you might choose something like fit, go up to the brand tool, and then I can choose a background image, maybe upload my own, or just choose a solid color. I can choose the color picker, go to a solid color, I can also change the location of the logo, either top left, top right, or bottom right. Change the style of our names down here. And remember, you can click right here and change the names both for you, your remote guests, and even add a title if you would like. And now you can see the active speaker is shown full screen here on the live destination, and that will carry over to YouTube, Twitch, and any other destination you have set up. And remember, when you live stream with Riverside, you also have an OmniChat feature. So if someone types here in the Twitch live stream, you'll see live stream chat up here, and you'll actually get those messages right here while you're broadcasting in the Riverside studio. And what's even better is you can actually show this as a lower third while you're streaming live. So I can roll over, click show on stream, and that question plus the viewer's avatar and what platform it was broadcast from, you'll see the little Twitch icon, all of that shows up on the live stream and that will be broadcast to all your destinations. You can also choose how long that lower third appears by clicking the timer here, or you can choose to manually hide it. Then whenever you type a message here in OmniChat, it goes to all your destinations at the same time. This way you can communicate with everyone on all the platforms. Now our live stream layouts also work great when you're doing things like screen sharing and playing media board files. If I go down to share and then choose to share a screen, I'm gonna choose a Chrome window that I have here and I'm showing the Riverside website. Now you'll see the website is being shared 
Then both me and my remote guest are shown in smaller picture-in-picture -picture windows, but you can change the layout on this too. I can go over to the Layout tool and choose the Full Screen option, and now that screen share is being shown full screen, you can still hear me and my remote guests, but the focus is on the screen share. You can go back to that layout. Split screen will actually keep you and other participants separated from the screen share in little windows. Or if you go to picture in picture, you'll actually be overlaid on top of the screen share, but only the active speaker. So as you can see down there in the bottom right corner, I'm speaking, so you'll see me. But if the active speaker changes and someone else starts talking, you'll now see that person in the lower right hand corner. If it goes back to me, now you'll see it switch once again. Now I'll go back to the layouts, go to full screen, and once I stop screen sharing, it's gonna go back to the grid view that you had before you started the screen share. Again, you can use the hotkeys to go full screen or picture in picture, but let's keep it full screen one more time because this is a great way to show countdown videos or other media during something like a live webinar. If I go over to the media tab, I have this countdown video here. I'm gonna start playing it, set it to live, and now I can actually choose a layout that shows this full screen. Now me and my remote guests are hidden from view. We can even mute our microphones. And then as soon as that countdown video hits zero, I can choose to go to the picture in picture view, or when I click preview to stop the media board file, you'll go right back to whoever was hosting or speaking during the webinar. These live stream layouts combined with media board and screen sharing tools are a great way to show visually engaging content, whether it's countdown videos, tutorials, and you're sharing your screen and more, and choose the layout that's right for you. Our live stream layouts are available to all Riverside users, whether you're on the free plan, standard, or pro, and you can use it while you're broadcasting to your social destinations and using Riverside audience mode. I'm gonna click stop and let's jump into the Riverside editor because there we have some incredible features like our smart scenes layouts, which will help us put this together super fast. You'll see those files upload very quickly, both you and your remote guests, and you'll be ready to edit in just a few moments. Once your files have uploaded, here in the Riverside dashboard, I can jump to the editor. Now here in the editor, those live streaming layouts don't carry over. This gives you the flexibility to edit your content however you'd like. But if you go over to the layout tools here in the Riverside editor, you can choose our smart scenes feature, and then Riverside will automatically focus on the active speaker throughout your edit. So here I did the full screen active speaker and it's focusing on me, and then it focuses on the remote guest. And for our full screen screen share, does that as well. You can also go to the brand tool. You can remove the spacing if you wanna go absolutely full screen. And we have our AI producer tools like set pace, which will remove the perfect amount of silence. You can choose to remove filler words with our smooth speech feature, mute tracks when someone's not speaking. And if someone used a built-in microphone, you can apply magic audio and they'll sound studio quality. Add animated captions, even save styles to use in the future. Plus you can now add text, image, and music overlays. We open the music tab, we can choose from the library of stock free audio that will be overlaid underneath our edit. We can move it around and click the three dots to both adjust the volume of that background music track, fade in and fade out time. And now we have a professional recording of our live streamed broadcast and we can export this in up to 4K quality and all of this happens right here in Riverside. So that's our new live stream layouts feature and all of our live streaming tools that enable you to broadcast your content anywhere you'd like. If you'd like to learn more about our live streaming tools like OmniChat and audience mode with live call-ins, check out this video right up here. And don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel and hit that like button before you go because we have even more features coming very soon. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I'll answer you personally. And if you're looking to maybe upgrade your setup, maybe you want to get a better camera, microphone, and you wanna get the most bang for your buck, we'll have a video talking about the best ways to spend that money, no matter what your budget level is, to get the highest quality video and audio possible. You can check out that video right up here. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.